we look at an example. Consider a spectrum of input signal x of e raised to j omega with a bandwidth of minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 as shown below. When the input signal is downsampled by a factor d, sketch the spectrum of downsampled signal for sampling rate reduction factor d equal to 2, 3 and 4. So this is the spectrum of the input signal that is x of e raised to j omega. Then it's a band limited signal and the bandwidth of the signal is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Uh, bandwidth, bandwidth is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Now we have to draw the downsampled signal for d equal to 2, 3 and 4. First we will consider d equal to 2. Now we know the general expression for calculating the spectrum of a decimated signal that is y of e raised to j omega equal to 1 by d. 1 by d sigma k equal to 0 to d minus 1 x of e raised to j omega minus 2 pi, 2 pi k by d. Now here d is equal to 2 so we can substitute the values. So we get 1 by 2 sigma k equal to 0 to 1 x of e raised to j omega minus 2 pi k by 2. Now on substituting the values for k, k varies from 0 to 1. So on substituting the values we get 1 by 2 x of e raised to j omega by 2 plus 1 by 2 x of e raised to j omega minus 2 pi by 2. Now we have two terms. So first we need to draw the spectrum of each terms. Now the first component, first component will be always a frequency stretched version of the input spectra. It will be stretched by a factor of d. So here d is equal to 2. So on stretching the signal what we get is just multiply this point, these points by d. Okay, so pi by 2. So this point of the input signal, input spectra becomes pi by 2 into 2. Which means this will be pi. 0 when uh, multiplied by d will get 0 itself then minus pi by 2 multiplied by d that is minus pi by 2 into 2 we get minus pi similarly these points also so 1.5 pi into 2 will be getting 3 pi to 5 pi here 3 pi to 5 pi center point is 4 pi and so on so this is the spectrum of first component similarly the second component the second component will be a shifted version, right shifted version of the first component and the shift uh, and the shifting factor will be 2 pi. So this spectrum will be shifted, right shifted by 2 pi. So this point plus pi becomes plus pi plus 2 pi. So this becomes 3 pi. Minus pi will become minus pi plus 2 pi which is pi and so on. So here the, these points will become 5 pi to 7 pi. This should be actually 7 pi. It's not 6 pi. This should be 7 pi. Okay. So 5 pi to 7 pi. And so on. Now, so these are the spectrum of individual components. Now the output or the uh, final spectrum, final spectrum of the decimated signal will be the addition of these two components. Now if we add these two components, you will get this particular spectrum. You just need to add these two components. So you can see that we'll be having a component in this range that is minus pi to plus pi. Then we have pi to 3 pi here. So pi to 3 pi, then 3 pi to 5 pi, 5 pi to uh, 7 pi and so on. So here there is no aliasing. When you see this spectrum, you can see that there is no aliasing or there is, there is no overlap. Now because this is because the input signal so you can see that the input signal is band limited to pi by d. d is 2 here. So the input signal is band limited to pi by d. Hence there is no aliasing in this particular spectrum. Next we will consider when d is equal to 3. We will consider the spectrum when d is equal to 3. So the expression for the spectrum e raised to j omega becomes 1 by 3 sigma k equal to 0 to 3 x of e raised to j omega minus 2 pi k by 3. Now on substituting the values for k, we will get, be getting 3 components for k equal to 0, k equal to 1 and k equal to 3. Now the first component, 
first component is the frequency stretched version of the input. The stretching factor is by 3. The second and third components will be the shifted version of the first component. The shift components, the it will be right shifted. The first component will be right shifted by 2 pi and 4 pi respectively. That is the second component will be right shifted by a factor of 2 pi. And third component will be the right shifted version of the first component and the shifting factor will be 4 pi. Now, if we try to draw the spectra, spectrum of individual components, the first component, the first term will be the stretched version of the input. So, this is our input. This is our input. So, it will be stretched by a factor of 3. So, this point becomes pi by 2 into 3. It will be multiplied by 3. And this point will become minus pi by 2 into 3. So, this uh, similarly this point 1.5 into 3 similarly 2.5 into 3. So, if you try to draw the spectrum, you will get this. Okay, so this is minus pi by 2 has become 3 pi by 2 and this pi by 2 has become 3 pi by 2. Okay, so this is the stretched version of the input signal. At the same time, the magnitude, magnitude will be scaled by a factor of 1 by 3. In previous case, it was scaled by a factor of 1 by 2. So, in general, you can say that the magnitude will be scaled by a factor of 1 by d. Now, the second component, the second component will be actually the shifted version of the first component. So, you need to shift this signal by 2 pi, right shifting by 2 pi. Okay, so this point 0 will be shifted to 2 pi. 3 pi by 2 will be shifted to 3 pi by 2 plus 2 pi. Okay. And so, so here this similarly this portion, this portion will be shifted to 6.5 pi, then this will be 8 pi, this will be 9.5 pi and so on. And the third component, third component will be the right shifted version of the first component and the shifting factor will be 4 pi. Okay, so this point will be actually 4 pi, we will start from this point. Okay, so this is how shifting is taking place and the final spectrum final spectrum is obtained by adding these three components and when we add these three components you can just add and draw the spectrum and when we draw the spectrum we can see that there is overlap between the samples you can see overlapping in the spectrum there is overlapping in this region there is overlapping here there is overlapping Okay, the, the yellow shaded region there will be overlap and this is called as aliasing. Now here you can see that the input signal is not band limited to pi by d because the input signal here, this is our input signal. The input signal is actually band limited to pi by 2. But in our case, the decimation factor is 3. So in order to avoid aliasing effect, your input signal should be band limited to pi by 3. So, because of that, there will be aliasing. 